Hi everyone, my name is Charlie and I did not plan on ranting about the traffic again this morning but it has irked me that much that I feel I have no choice. So we are going to begin with my own stupidity this morning. As I was reversing my car out of the road, the windscreen, you know, it was foggy. The rear, foggy. Thought that's fine. So windscreen wiped them off, windscreen wiped the back off. Don't think about these three window, four windows here. And they were frozen. It's spring. The bloody sun's out and me windows are frozen. So then, whilst I'm boiling to death in my car, I end up driving along with the windows, with the heating on full, trying to get the ice on the windows to melt. <sighs> Having this window down every time I was trying to turn left so I could see what was coming. That was fine. No incident. Dual carriageway. Why do all my bloody problems come on that bloody dual carriageway? I get to the second roundabout on the dual carriageway. And a bloody learner motorcyclist decides that he's going to cut in front of me. And he does it. And then he stays in front of me. And there's no way I can get past him. Because if I go into the right hand lane, I can't overtake him. But he's still not really getting to the limit. And also, he's a learner. I'm terrified of learners. I was one. <sighs> but it's fine. We get to the final roundabout. He does whatever he's doing, drifting off into Bollington, probably falling down a pothole because he was so bloody skinny. And I come off the roundabout, come off the dual carriageway, and I'm going down my country lane, and car slams its brakes on in front of me. Because, for some reason, a lady decided that she was just going to pull out in front of him. And then she stood, sat there doing the whole British thing of like, oh. Like, I'm sorry... You bloody saw him. He was driving down the road. What When he's got a line of traffic behind him, what made you think that he was going to stop? But then, because that just kind of like blew me off course a little, I was like, do you know what? Do you know what? I'll stop. I'll do the nice thing. There's a line of traffic in front of me going down towards the traffic lights anyway. I'll have to wait. So come on, you move out if you're in that much of an hurry. You go that way. You come up. Come on, let's just clear this bit. And then someone was letting me go forward, and I didn't realise I'm not taking it out of third. So I'm trying to set off in third. That didn't work, so they ended up going as well. And then I drove off, and I actually ended up going to the speed limit of 40, because, you know, traffic lights. And then I get down to the traffic lights, and would you know that one of the cars that I've let out onto the road has been driven by one of the slowest men in the history of slow men. If his father had been a tortoise, I would not have been surprised. And, you know, it was either his mother or his wife in his car. You can never tell nowadays. Once you hit 60, that's it. You're all the same. And so, we get into the 50. Now, I've told you before about the fact that someone has turned the 50 sign around so that the 40 side is now showing and it confuses some people but there is a repeater that says it's 50 and the other side of the road says it's 50 so I thought maybe he's a bit thing you know maybe he's just not noticed no he'd noticed he was just going slow in fact he was going between 30 and 40 miles the entire miles an hour the entire way here I mean I know it's only five minutes but it adds a lot onto it when someone is going 20 miles below the speed limit again limit not a target I understand this. He's free to do whatever he wants to do. Probably as a pacemaker, and pacemakers weren't made to work at 50 miles an hour. I don't know. All I do know is that, like the flaming driver that got up my arse the other day, you had to be very observant of this person because he'd see something about 50 miles down the bleeding road and decided that he was going to break right there. No! He had no bloody need to break where he was breaking. I don't understand it. I have absolutely no idea what he was thinking, apart from the fact that he was trying to stop me from going in his rear end. That was not going to happen. You've got a line of traffic behind you. You're probably thinking of like, hi-ho, hi-ho, it's off to work we go. You think you're some character out of a Disney film, like the flaming colonel leading a flaming elephants in the jungle book. I don't know. You want to recreate your dad's army days? I don't know. All I do know is that you're old, 
you white, you're wearing beige, and you're going extremely slowly. <sighs> then he was going a different way at the mini roundabout. I turned right, turned left. Let a van out when I got to Waitrose. There was nothing coming down the road for once and I got to work. Um, with the only incident being that I was a bit cockeyed, but I still managed to get into the driving space. Parking space. <sighs> Maybe I should like join an anger management course or something just to deal with my road rage because this is the angriest I ever get. Um... I did consider whether, as it has been Easter, and there has been a bit more sugar consumed by Charlie in the last week. I don't know whether you can tell from this fuller face. Um, at least I've decided it is this morning. Um, maybe that's the reason I've become so irate. I was watching a video yesterday where I said that I was quite content, and that was from October 2016, where I still hadn't had sugar for about two months at that point, and I was saying how happy and content I was, and... Well, a year later, I started driving and this happened. Please send me your irate driving stories. Maybe I'm just making something out of nothing. I hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, that is all.